Welcome to this online Marimo training. In this session, I will explain more about load application on multi-body systems. Once you have defined your multi-body system and you have applied your initial conditions and your kinematic and dynamic constraints, you may want to apply external loads to your multi-body system. This can be done to parts of the multi-body system or to the complete multi-body system in the form of concentrated loads or in the form of acceleration fields as distributed loads. First, I will explain how you can apply concentrated loads on a multi-body system. With the element actuator body, you can apply a concentrated load to a single body. You can do that uh, by defining the point of application and the direction uh, with respect to global or a local coordinate system and you can apply the magnitude of the force uh, in a control system uh, using a signal element. With the option actuator body rel you can define uh, two forces on two bodies and it works similar as actuator body with the only difference that now with the two forces you define an action and a reaction force. Distributed loads can be defined in the form of acceleration fields. Acceleration fields can be defined in Marimo on a list of bodies or on a complete Marimo system. The latter you can do with load system AC. If you define a an acceleration field to a complete system, you will define this in three directions, in the x, y and the z direction. And these can be local body coordinates directions or global directions. The magnitude of the acceleration field is defined using a function x, y element. Acceleration fields to complete systems are often used to define vehicle crash pulses on occupants or vehicle interior and restraint systems. Um, in this, uh, when you do this, you actually take your vehicle acceleration pulse, which is often a negative deceleration pulse, and you will invert it to become a positive acceleration pulse and apply that using load system ACK to your system. When you do this, uh, you have to take care of your output definition. If you define accelerometer output in your uh, Marimo model, uh, you will do this with output body. Under output body, there's an option correct uh, AX, AY or AZ, and you can put this to on. When you put this correct option to on, the accelerometer will not sense the artificial acceleration field. In our multi-body Marimo models, this option is already included in the accelerometer output. This brings us to the end of this session. Thanks for your attention.